Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you are watching the Inner Child Collective, where you and your inner child heal for the better. Welcome and hello. How are you? I hope that you are having a good Monday. Today we are doing the um, inner child words of wisdom, right? So I already tapped in. I'm ready to go. But before I get started, I definitely want to let y'all know that um, if you resonate with the the message in any way shape or form by all means let me know by you know putting your good word in the comments also be sure to like be sure to like the video and also like subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss another video and let people know that i'm here um for those who don't know me i'm a psychic intuitive medium and author uh who basically um, centers the inner child i specialize in inner child therapy and uh, it saved my like it saved my life, you know, in, some, in every way, every way, shape, and form. And so I just want to spread all the information I can about the inner child. Again, I'm a psychic, intuitive medium, and author who specializes in inner child therapy. And I emphasize, uh, you know, on generational and and historical curses and breaking those curses, ways to you know rewrite the stories in your mind. You know, there are, you know. In your subconscious mind and, and just tapping into your inner child reconnecting to your inner child to find out who you really are you know um, and to heal from trauma you know if, in, if not overcoming it altogether so let's get started with this good word just want to let y'all know that so I already tapped in ready to go so dear higher spirit what words of wisdom do you have for the collective's inner child today? For Monday, September 28th, what words of wisdom do you have for the collective's inner child for September, Monday 28th? Monday 28th. So today we received the circle. And so what I got from this today, um, the messages I'm getting is that we, need, we really need to come together. So what does this have to do with the inner child spirit? What I'm getting from this is that on a collective level, we are to work together. But what I'm getting from this uh, particular card is that you and your inner child are to work together because when you heal, the collective heals. You know, so let me go ahead and explain that real quick. When we are in the thick of our trauma, we have the tendency to also um, create stories um, that will cause further trauma either to ourselves or to other people. And when we don't heal, when we don't look at our own shadows, we end up creating scenarios and creating stories and causing so much harm, you know, based on what we went through because we simply don't know better or we don't work towards knowing better. And so when we are unable to heal or put ourselves in a position, position to heal, what ends up happening is that we end up hurting others. We end up hurting others and being disconnected from others uh, as a result of our behavior, our thoughts, um, and how we feel. Because in our minds, everyone, I mean everyone, uh, almost everyone who shows love towards us, they are in our minds lying. In our minds, they are not to be trusted. In our minds, we really do believe that people are after us or people are going to cause us harm, just like we were caused harm, you know, as children when we were in the thick of our trauma, whatever that looks like, especially, and I'm definitely talking to um, childhood uh, abuse victims, uh, people who have gone through a lot of their trauma, whether it be, you know, um, like it, it pertains to abuse, whether it be you know financial abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, um, gaslighting, uh, which is basically a form of emotional and psychological manipulation. And so what, so what happens is that when we go through the initial incident, it leaves an imprint, and that imprint stays with us. And so when that imprint is within our soul, it's just stuck there 
we end up reenacting a lot of what we went through as children. We end up sabotaging relationships. We end up people pleasing. We end up putting ourselves in a position to be manipulated uh, by people who uh, resemble in some way, shape or form our perpetrators. So we have the tendency to pull away from those people or to cause destruction in our lives. And that causes a lot of toxic uh, behavior, toxic relationships um, form as a result of those behaviors or um, you have that toxic relationship with yourself. You know, a lot of people um, have a tendency to self-sabotage as a result of a lot of unhealed trauma. And so this is a time for us to examine those relationships, our perception of the world. It's our, it's our, basically our duty to understand where the trauma has come from, where the trauma has started, because it follows us throughout our entire adulthood. It follows us until we are able to stop the cycle. And the only way to stop the cycle is to realize that sometimes we are our own worst enemy. We are our own worst enemy. We are our own worst nemesis. Because, just simply because we don't know any better. And a lot of us, unfortunately, are very uncomfortable. We are very aware of what we are doing to other people. But we become so comfortable in our, in our dysfunction. In that same story that we do anything and everything to stay in it. Because it has nothing to do with what, you know, it has nothing to do with change. That story that we keep holding on to, it has nothing to do with our change. It doesn't challenge us to change. The stories that we have in our mind uh, in regards to ourselves and the world and other people, other environments, institutions, we go by those old paradigms because that's simply what we know. And when we hold on to those old stories, we do everything we can and find anything we can get our hands on or our minds on to stay within that old paradigm, to work with that paradigm. And we make up all kinds of excuses to stay what's familiar to us. We're being told to tap into our unknown. We're being told by spirit to tap into the unknown. We're being told by spirit to hold hands with people, you know, that hold hands with ourselves, connect with ourselves first, connect with our inner child first, because your inner child is, is, is basically showing you, you know, uh, over and over again, what is to be changed within us, because they are gravitating towards people, places, and situations that remind us of everything that we went through, good, bad, and indifferent when we were children. They don't know any better. Your inner child doesn't know any better because when they were children, they didn't have the power necessary to practice their own agency and to change the paradigm. Granted, there's a lot of people when they were children recognized that what was going on with them, what was happening to them was not correct. But you're no longer that child. That child is running you. And that is their cry for help. The lack of trust in people. And believe me, I know that there's a time when, you know, and there's still a time where um, that lack of vulnerability for me, you know, was very, is very new to me. It's very new to me um, because just because of years upon years of staying to myself uh, on an intellectual level staying to myself, keeping my deepest thoughts to myself. The lack of interde interdependence is the reason why this card came up for not just me, but for other people as well. We're being told to tap into our inner child, to connect with our inner child. And one way to do, to do that is to have what is called a therapy session with yourself, with your inner child, a therapy session. 
how that works is that you put yourself in a in a in a meditative meditative state find a place uh, that is safe and very comfortable for you to do this exercise tap into your inner child connect with your inner child by taking a few deep breaths asking spirit to help you connect to that to that energy because your inner child is a whole different entity it's a separate entity at this point it just so happens to be running your life crying for help and then ask let, allow them to ask questions ask them how are you today Ask them what's wrong and what's going on. Tell them that you're here for them. Tell them about the trauma that you have gone through and ask them. Not just about the trauma, but how are they doing? Nine times out of ten, they will tell you what's going on in their own words. They will tell you why they're why they are sad, why they are angry, why they are acting a certain way, what happened. Allow your inner child to speak, because nine times out of out of ten you were told to be quiet. When you were growing up, you were told to be quiet, and that your words mean nothing. So let your inner child speak. Because what I'm getting from spirit is that as far as you holding on to these stories, you're running out of options. And by all means, you're running out of, you're running out of energy. And you're running out of time. Not that you are leaving this earth, but you're running out of this energy because right now, Regardless, regardless of, of how you hold on to the story or how long you hold on to the story, life is going to go on with or without you. Your life is literally passing you by as you hold on to these stories that are running your life at this point. That are basically allowing you to hold on to this narrative that may or may not be true anymore. So tap into your inner child, tap into that energy and ask yourself, um, ask your inner child rather, how can I be of service to you? What is going on? Please tell me your story. Tell me your story. Instead, so, and allow them to speak and you listen. And allow them to speak so they are able to establish a, a rapport and to, to, to trust you. You are to speak to your inner child. Listen to your inner child. Do not interrupt them with a bunch of questions. Because right now, I'm just getting you running out of options in regards to your life. Because a lot of y'all, a lot of people who will be resonating with this message, you've been told time and time again to, to, to be mindful of what you, how you think about yourself, how you show up in the world. And when you heal, when you go through the healing process, you show up in the world differently. So it's time for you to show up in the world differently. And, one, and the only way you can do this at this point is to allow your inner child to listen or, or, you, or allow your inner child to speak or you, and you listen and go through the healing process. Because once you start healing, you show up in the world differently because you think differently. Your inner child thinks differently because of your work and you two are working together. And when you start to think differently, you feel differently. And when you feel differently, you act as if. Then you start attracting things, people, places, situations that align with what you are working, for, working towards. 
This is a time for you to be dedicated to yourself so you can be dedicated to the collective. Because once you heal, the collective heals because you're no longer or have the potential to be someone else's trauma story. I'm just getting like you are your own trauma story when you're not doing your own work. Yeah, like, I'm just getting like, this is a time for you to honor yourself and honor your inner child by working together and really getting to the, uh, to the root cause of a, of a lot of things that may be holding you back or preventing you from being the person you wish to be. And who you really are, but just forgotten because of this world. So... That's all I have for the inner child words of wisdom. If you resonate with that message in any way, shape, or form, by all means, let me know in the comments. You can also like the video um, and also share it. Please share it with the, with anybody and everyone you know that you believe is um, interested in the inner child because the more people know about the inner child, the better. Also, um, subscribe to the video uh, to the channel subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss another video also follow me on social media um i am on facebook twitter and instagram and uh if you will look if you would like a more in-depth reading you can click on one of the the links in the description box that tells you is like calendar calendarly.com uh, um slash the inner child collective um you can click on that and you can uh, get a more in-depth reading, uh, uh, inner child archetype reading, or just a general reading with oracle cards. Um, also, I read bedtime stories. Speaking of which, I'll be uh, reading bedtime stories tomorrow, um, Wednesday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So be on that. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. I don't know what the story is going to be, but... Um, I will have a story picked out or, and also if you will have a title, by all means, uh, let me know in the comments. Ooh, that's, I think that's it. I think, Oh, if you are working, if you meet have met me through the Ashworth Scott life sculpting network, um, that's my inner, um, I do a lot of inner child readings there as well. Tap me on the shoulder, click on the link as well. Um, and especially if you worked with, uh, Nikila, you know, um, by all means, like click on that channel. So, or click on that link rather, so you can book an appointment. So thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Until next time, peace.